In one of the most adored new games that also confuses the heck out of me, Undertale has swept everyone up in a big bubble of happy. Undertale is an RPG where you control a human who falls underground into a world of monsters. You have to find your way out or you'll be trapped forever! What makes this game so different and adored is the fact that you don't have to kill any of the monsters at all. You can defeat them all using a very unique non-violent battle system that lets Let's you dance, tell secrets, flirt, and many other options of making friends. That's not usually a choice that any other RPG game usually gives you. And I think that's a big reason why a lot of people have taken to this game so quickly. It's a breath of fresh air to be able to make an alternate choice from just being able to kill everything. Of course, if you're in it to murder your foes, then you will be provided options to slay all of the monsters. Their fate is entirely in your hands. While the graphics of this game are mainly the 8-bit flat colored, it is stylized in such a way that there's always something to look at. The colors are still really bright and fun and each new place is designed in a unique way. The characters, while still black and white, are each so unique that they all stand out from each other. So during the battle scenes where you're fighting or not fighting, each monster battle will feel fresh and different from the last so it doesn't feel too repetitive. Sans and Papyrus are the skeleton brother duo that hangs out with you throughout the duration of the game, and they are said to be the most loved characters in the game. Sans is a jokester, and when he says something great, the camera zooms in on him and his funny little winky face. Tariel is another character that you're going to get to know and love. She becomes a motherly companion that helps guide you on your journey and keeps you safe from those human-hating monsters outside. Undertale started off as a Kickstarter game, and it actually went about a thousand percent over its projected goal. It was released for Greenlight on Steam in early 2015, and came to its final release September 15th of 2015. You can get Undertale for only $10 on Steam, and from what I've heard, this game is totally worth it because it's an incredible game, everyone is saying. I'm still completely confused by this game and as to why everyone seems to say it's so amazing. From what I've seen, it doesn't seem that great, but maybe I just haven't seen enough. So maybe I just need to get it and play it for myself, and this way I can form my own opinion. <laughs> If you have played this game, please let me know down below in a comment what your favorite part was or who your favorite character is. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it is much appreciated, and come visit me on my game channel, Brits Games. I'll hopefully be playing this game sometime soonish, maybe? <laughs> who knows? If you have any recommendations of a game that you would like me to review on here in the coming weeks, then please leave me a comment down below. There's a lot of games out there, but I just don't know what you guys want to see. <laughs> but as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time time, goodbye! Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.